Well, the question is, why is it that people consider the state something that can't end? Something that's endless, that will last forever, that's perpetual, that's unstoppable. Well, it's because of a few things. And this is all theoretical. I'm trying to understand the very misunderstandings of people who I really don't know much about. And part of it is that while governments come and go, that doesn't necessarily mean that the states will leave. The states come and have a higher authority than government. Have a higher authority than uh, <coughs> the institutions that try to protect society. They have a higher power than that. And when you think about that, it's kind of overwhelming. Because it's like saying that um, the very thing that protects you is being um, is working for some higher entity that isn't trying to protect you. In fact, it's trying to do the opposite. It's trying to take not just resources from you, but use those very resources to make um for their nepotist purposes, for their, say, capitalism, state feudalism, or slave states. Um, there, were, there was state collectivism, but it was only in South America pre-white man domination. So, it's all basically some sort of bullshit structure. As a result, because states have government serve um, them in a reverse fascist purpose, um, and because states um, have that citizenship, uh, that citizenship, whether you're a citizen or resident, is being protected by their territory system and uh, their grand sovereignty. What happens is that people don't realize that all these things are easily subjected to collapse. That the territory system could collapse and as a result the citizen system will collapse along with it. And another thing is that with uh, the sovereignty principle at the collapse, the solo government being um, a worker of the state, that'll collapse too. An institution that serves the state. And once that happens, then government can exist in a less status, more functional format, which is what I find. Um, be desirable and other people could find it to be desirable. No longer having to see governments being subject to statism. Because after all, statism is probably the biggest destruction of liberty. And I don't like using holistic words like destruction, but it is true.